Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see how to export camera track from Synthize to Maya. So let's start the class here. So now we are inside Synthize here. And this is our sort here. So in our previous video, properly just I have tagged this sort inside Synthize. So till here, I have completed all these things inside Synthize in our previous video. So before starting this video, Please watch my previous video if you have any problem regarding this camera tracking inside Synthize. Link I have given in description. So now just we are going to see how we can export this camera track from Synthize to Maya. Now just go to this layout and just select this quad view. And just check this 2D and 3D points here. So now here before exporting if you want you can also define your scene center point. So now if you will see this is actually scene center point so if you will see this one here so you can also see this one here so if you want you can also define your scene center point so suppose just i'm going to define maybe suppose this point okay so this is optional so because everything you can do inside maya but just only for explanation just i'm going to define it here so just maybe this point just i want to define as a center point of this scene here now just come inside this 3d room again just switch this quad view so simply just we can take this move tool then we can click on hole and just will shift this one here just again uncheck this hole and just we can define so maybe suppose this point so just we have to select and check so maybe this one you can also see from here so you can also see even little bit if you want you can add yes so just we have to check then whole we can check and just we can adjust so in our previous class everything just i've done till here so now just i'm going to export so for this simply just we have to click on this file so you will get this maya as key scene original options here even you can click on this export then go to this folder and just you will get this maya as key scene original here okay so just we have to select this one so even from this one you can also select even direct from here just you can also select now just go to this export folder and just we have to select this one here then after this we have to select our folder so this is our synthesis folder inside that just type created over the export folder so just we have to open this one and just we have to give a file name now just we have to click on save so this will just create a ma file now after this in this box just we can define our image sequence starting frame so here just i have defined this one so this is totally based on your image sequence then rotation axis just you have to select this x y g then simply we have to press ok so now here just i have exported over this camera track from synthize now come inside maya and we will import this camera track inside maya so now we are inside maya and just we have to import our camera track which just i have exported from synthize then we have to click on file then open scene then we have to select file which just you have exported from synthize so this is our main folder then inside this is our export folder so this is our ma file which just i have exported from synthize so just we have to select then we have to click on open don't save now just i am getting this entire scene inside this maya here so now if you will see here so just i am getting this these actually locators here so just you can see all these locators and this camera here now again go to this camera view and just we have to check so now if you will see so this is actually grid here because inside synthize just type define this point as a scene center point okay so that's why just i'm getting this grid here so if you want you can define scene center inside synthize otherwise inside maya you can also define now inside this left side in this outliner you will get this entire scene group whichever synthize group and inside this you will get this camera and this is our point clouds here now just select this point clouds and just assign into our the display layer and just give a name like locators even we can also define this color now just we have to save even suppose you want to adjust your locator size then you can open this individuals locators and as you can select then go to this editor and just we can adjust this value here now just you can see this one here so now just I am getting all these locators here. 
So now again after this suppose if you want to uh, scale your scene or if you want to define your scene center so any purchase you can define so just only totally for explanation suppose if you want to define this one here so then I can come inside this perspective view and simply suppose this one so what we have to do so suppose I want to define this point as a scene center point so simply just we have to select this entire scene then we can press W then D and V you can snap this pivot point at this point then after this we can snap entire this scene at this grid here now we have to press X and just we can snap it here now if you will go to this camera view so now just you can see so like this if you want you can just uh, uh, define your scene center anywhere according to your requirement now after the little bit just I am going to scroll your scene so for the just simply you can go to this human IK then you can import a character then after this simply just you can delete this one here so now if you will see just little bit I am getting problem but this is not a problem so if you will move this player so this will maintain all these things here okay remember this one here so now again just we have to select this entire group and just let it just we can adjust this scene scale from synthar you can also adjust this scene scale so i think this is sufficient so now just you can see so now this is just looking good here then after this just you can create any test objects so just i am going to create a first a just plane here then we can create this plane you scale this one so press r then we can scale now press 4 and go to this wireframe mode now press w d v and just we can press anchor point at this corner then press v and just we can snap at this point here now just you can see then just you can scale this one here so just i'm going to scale in g position so just you can see. even from perspective view also just you can scale so now i can come inside this perspective view so just we have to check so now just you can see this one here so little bit just i'm getting this clip in play problem so again just select this camera then again go to this attribute editor and just we can adjust this clipping plane point one so now just we have to check maybe still just i'm getting a little bit of this problem here so for this again just we can select maybe this camera here then we can adjust this value here now this is looking good okay so like this just you can adjust your clipping plane problem if you are getting maybe any problems here then again go to this camera view here and just we can play and just we can check about this result here now just we can play and just check so now here this is looking good here then after this you can import your any 3d model and just you can place into this scene here so guys till here i have completed about this class so if you like this video Please watch, share, comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribed my channel. So thanks for watching.